All right, intro time. Uh, one of my favorite lakes to fish in my area has no public launch. So you have to launch at a public lake and then there's this channel and then the channel leads to the uh, leads to the tube up here and you have to go underneath this road in order to get to the lake. Um, people figured it out a long time ago. It's pretty common for people in kayaks to do. And I don't think the people on the lake really appreciate the kayakers. Uh, but it's a really nice lake. And so I'm going to keep keep going there uh, until someone tells me I can't. Because people don't own the water. They just own all the property around the water. So they try to make this place as private as possible. Which really isn't fair. But obviously the property owners want to keep this place to themselves. But it's just a quick ride through this tube. And then here we are. Tiger number one, little bitty pike. That's not bad. I mean, it's a start, and now we know that the technique is working. Just found a flaw in the plan, which is that my players are in the back. So, we'll have to try again here. I got him. Oh, I got him. Now another northern. Nice. You got my bait all balled up. Just the little guy though. Eventually, I'll find the big one. Or, I'll run out of crawlers. One of those two things isn't going to happen. Just had a bite and I missed it. Oh, I got him. Oh my god, a big old bass. Jeez, old beats. Oh, 
<laughs> All right then. All right, update. It's real nice outside and I keep getting hits, but I'm pretty sure it's just panfish. So I've probably gone through a half dozen night crawlers so far and not a single fish on the hook. So every time I get up too close to shore, I get eaten up by uh, panfish. And every time I go too close to the middle of the lake, the wind kind of blows me around. So I'm in a really weird spot. But if I hook anything, you guys will get to see it. Oh, we got our first fish. Let's see how we did. Oh, man. Look at this thing. It's a perch. Oh, that's pretty good for right there. I wonder if we could get a bunch more. Well, that was the only one. Yeah, we'll let this one go. All right, nothing on that pass though. So we're gonna try again. We're gonna go the opposite way. Doing the same thing. Oh, wow. I just had a big old pike hit me on the side of the boat. All right, this little area is fish. We're gonna stay here for a minute. I was at four foot of water. Oh, I finally got something big. Oh, it's a big fish. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's running right at me. Oh no, I lost it. No. It's been hours. Hours. All right, we need a little bit of sunlight left. We'll get right back on it. Looks like this 12, 13 foot of range is good. It took me all night to get rid of this one fish. Oh my god, it's a musky. <clears throat> I 
get him a nap, please. Guys, oh my God. It's my first muskie of the season. Oh my God, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I barely got him. Oh my God, that's so cool. We got a photo. That's so awesome. Step on it, step on it. I just want a photo of you and then I'll let you go, I promise. I'm trying to get my hands up under you here. Hopefully I'm getting a shot of this. God, it's a beautiful fish. And he's gone. <laughs> oh my God, that whole, whole thing. The whole night, that was worth it. It was worth all the struggle, all the not catching it, all the fish, all, everything, all of it. I'm gonna pack up my stuff. I'm gonna pedal the, the other three miles I'm from the boat launch. I'm gonna call it good. That made my night. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I haven't, I haven't caught a muskie yet this season. And I, I fish the river all the time. Like this river dumps into this lake and I have not caught not one muskie yet. And I know they're in the river. But there it was. So, man, I'm excited. That was so cool. Probably too dark, probably can't see any of it on camera, but it happened. I was there. 